If you're a rotation player, <clears throat> as in six ball, nine ball, ten ball, or rotation, what you're looking for is consistency. Um, the speed of every shot should be pretty much the same. You should never be hitting balls too hard or too soft. Or, um, and try to gain position by using English. And what you're looking for is the same ritual um, pre shot. The warm-up strokes, the way you approach the ball as you get down on the ball, um, and the, particularly the speed of your shot. And the reason this applies for rotation is because in other games like eight ball, one pocket, uh, straight pull, sometimes you need a little more time to think about what you're doing. Whereas rotation, once you break the balls, the table tells you what to do and all you're doing is going through the motions following the instructions of the table and um, this table's already been laid out the only real problem we have is getting from this three to this four <clears throat> and that's because of all this traffic here but everything else is pretty basic so that's really my own, only concern. I've already I've already determined this entire layout um, before I ever shoot ball number one. And I pay strict attention to my pre-shot ritual, the way I get down on the ball, and the number of warm-up strokes and everything else. I try to keep it the same. And a lot of guys would have hit that ball too hard. And I probably should have hit a little bit too harder because I didn't get straight in on the three. But here's where I was talking about all this traffic. There is a problem. There was a problem with getting on the four. You certainly don't want to run into any of these balls. Because the whole plan will be uh, mill and void. You wind up kicking at balls and just letting the key ball loose. And you never, ever want to do that. You can see you now the speed of the speed of every shot has been exactly the same. Yes, yeah, so I got a little bit out of whack here. I, got, I wanted to get more straight in on this, and the cue ball came a little bit closer to us than I wanted to. So now I have to go two rails and bounce off this this end rail. And well, a side rail and back over to this side rail and back up. It's, it's such a slow table that uh, I had to put a little more juice on it than I wanted to. I don't like using top English. And I, I still didn't quite get there on the seven, but this is just a center ball shot. And being it's such a slow table, I got pretty good position on the eight. If this was a diamond, I would have been on top of that eight and in big trouble. And you never want to do this, run in the balls, because anything can happen if you do that. So I was a little bit lucky to get out. Um, usually that'll work out for you just fine, but uh, sometimes you get on top of it and, and you, there's just nothing you can do. And you'll have to play safe on it. And you don't want to get up to the nine ball and play safe on the nine, for God's sake. Anyway, peace, man. Oh, check out the score coming. Out at the Donnie Long matches. That started, geez. That went on for about a year and a half. It started at a place called Billiards and Brews in West Knobs. Which was my old stomping ground way back when it was a place called Leisure World. And uh, I started going down there again every Sunday to play poker. 
And I would just make a day out of it and take the day off of work and just play pool all day and play poker all night. And uh, Donnie started coming around in the daytime. We matched up and it just turned into a grudge match. And then we both we realized that we lived close by each other, so uh, we started playing around in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And that turned into a six day week battle, just a bloodbath. It was probably the two most unpredictable players in, in Tennessee matching up against each other. And most times it was a lot of fun. It was tense. And we gathered a crowd watching us and it, it was it was tense. It was a fierce match that went on for a long time, over a year. In the beginning, we had Mike Foley with us, but Mike stopped. Well, Mike started playing snooker. He got tired of our shit, you know, because we, Donnie and I would argue. We would get these tense arguments, and uh, it was either arguing or laughing. And, but but the matches were always great. And both our games were progressing evenly. Got fast. Um, it, you know, it just got to be a constant run out match. So, uh, but then his, uh, after about a year and a half, his, his, uh, his health started going south. And he started coming around less and less. And he'd come back and play, and then he'd be out for days. And he'd, then he'd come back again, and he'd be out for weeks and then months. and you know, it just got to the point where it was, he was just, it was done. It was, you know, he just stopped coming around. His health was too bad, so he had to, he had to quit. But I'll never forget that. It, it was, we, we got really close. And we, we started traveling around together a little bit. And uh, it's a shame I missed the guy. But, you know, it's life, I guess. And I started getting old and just started playing less. And it, it, the place wasn't the same when Donnie stopped coming around. Uh, I didn't really have any competition. No one to push me further. You know, the guys I was playing nowadays, they would quit, you know, if you ran a rack. So, you know, it just kind of fizzled.